So this is our basic spacing concept, okay? Now, uh, for our progressions here, we use, we color code everything. So the first color we talk about is blue. If it's blue, that means put the ball in the air. That's, that's either your first read or your pre-snap read. So whether you, you either want to call it like 1A or 1B or a zero and a one read, whatever it is. So in our concept, on our spacing concept, we are going to pre-snap wherever the X receiver is. And I'll go through all the details. Now from there, we use a sweeping read and we use stoplight colors. So this is the first thing I'm gonna look at. If not, I go green, yellow, red, exactly like a stoplight. So what we talk to our quarterbacks about all the time is, is you gotta know, think about the, the five side of a dice. So something in the middle, something up top, and something down in the flat that builds your triangle for you. So for us, uh, again, this is a, a really simple uh, system for us that he's going to look at the X and if he can't take the X, he just sweeps back across going middle to high to low. And again, we use the colors to really reinforce that. One thing uh, that is very unique to us that people are always uh, seemingly, I, I guess, amazed a little bit is that our quarterbacks never get taught specific coverages. Our, uh, no one does in our entire offense for that matter. We, we teach everything based on either, it's either zone or it's man and then you get some kind of leverage from there. But our quarterbacks will go through their entire career and never hear uh, quarter, quarter, half or a combo coverage or uh, this is what, you know, even this is what cover four is or the terms open middle and close middle. We never use any of those. Uh, we really try to dumb this down as much as we can so the kids can operate very fast and have built in answers uh, to the progression. So the way that this works is this is exactly what our kids see in our playbook. So our quarterback is going to pre-snap the X and then sweep back across. So our Y runs the tube. So he's going to take his alignment, our slot receiver, he's going to push vertical down his hash. He's, if he can get to 12 yards and keep going, he's going to keep doing that. If, he, if not, if for whatever reason. So again, what coaches would know as you know, some kind of cover three, a cover one, a cover two, where the tube player's opening up and running, you know, running pretty good. Uh, for whatever reason, if he can't continue down and keep going, he's going to hook up. And his rules and guidelines are, you get to hook up anywhere you want between the hashes. You find green grass and make yourself available uh, to the quarterback. I will show you clips and cut-ups of this where uh, it's critical that you teach it that way as opposed to open middle and close middle because you know there are some people who when they play cover three or a combination coverage they'll take their deep safety and put them over either the field or the formation where uh, our, our, our Y if he was making the, the distinction that oh it's closed middle I can't hook up where there's a lot of times where technically it is a one high look and he's able to continue and keep going so I think it's really critical at least for us in my opinion that you teach it that way. Our curl routes. Our curl route is run by Z in this, in this concept. It is a top of the number alignment. He pushes verti a vertical stem from through 10. He then is gonna push and sell the post to 15 and then hook up after that. Now, we, when we talk about our route depths here, we talk about running through that depth. So when I say he goes 10 to 15, he should not curl up at 15. He should be on a dead sprint through 15 and then go to get in and out of, out of his break. So some guys will end up at 17. Some guys will end up at 18. You just try to get your kids coached up to get more uh, efficient in and out of their breaks. So, uh, and then again, you have your tailback and your superback working to the flat. So what we teach the quarterbacks to look at over here is numeric leverage. This should get us right about nine out of 10 times. If the, he finds the X receiver on our base spacing concept, if they put one defender or one or two defenders over our X to that side, we should have either vertical or horizontal leverage on one of these two throws. So again, if, it's, if everybody's up and there's only two defensive players over here, our X on the vertical side, that's a great look for him to take a shot down the field.